After six weeks, Ohio University football is perfect in 2012. The Cats are 6-0 overall, and they're 2-0 in Mid-American Conference play. Final score at Peden Stadium on Saturday, Ohio 38, Buffalo 31. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein. Rob Cornelius is alongside. This was a bit of a struggle. We thought it could be, but Ohio made enough plays, and they were able to stay perfect on the year. Got through it on a weird start for Ohio. Gave up two quick scores, got down a couple, and then scored four in a row. 24 straight points for Ohio, a lead in the second half, got it tied one more time, but Ohio, again, survives and advances against a tough Buffalo team. Yeah, Ohio down 14 nothing, and we've seen sluggish starts before, but Ohio came right back with some hard-charging pops of their own. Well, you know, it was big plays today. It was turners by Buffalo, but the first big play of the game was for Ohio. 100-plus yard kick return from one freshman, Daz Patterson. Yeah, Daz Patterson. That really lit the spark to get things going. Ohio was on top by seven at halftime. And then in the second half, the defense made plays to thwart a lot of attempts by Buffalo to take the lead. No, just enough for, just enough for Ohio's defense. Ohio gave up a bunch of yards today, but frankly, after the beginning of that third quarter, Ohio put the clamps down. Buffalo really was held after, after the first 24 points, and then Ohio got some more points. Matt Waters, key catch on a big drive late in that game. Ryan Boykin punches it in twice. Once from close, once from 51 yards. Good to have him back. Yeah, statistically, if you take a look at this one, you would say that Akron, I'm sorry, that Buffalo won the ball game. Just based on the numbers that we normally see from Ohio, uh, it didn't matter. Ohio made enough plays to win it. But, yeah, statistically, it was odd. Low play counts, the big number six out for Ohio. But when you get that many turnovers, you get muff punts, you get special teams plays, you get that 100-yard kick return from Daz, good things happen for Ohio. Just look at the final score. Move on in Mac play to Akron. Here's how it looked and sounded at Peden Stadium. And the kick is away. That was a 14 play drive. Wow. Back into the end zone. Patterson will take it. He'll run to the 10. Left side 15 through a whole 20. Out to the 30. Up to the 40 yard line across the 50. Four sideline 40. On the run 40. He can score a touchdown. He will score a touchdown. Special team six for the Cats. Time now for Grand Van of four man rush and a blocker went into Venom after he kicked the ball away and thus that's why he went down and the ball could have been touched by Buffalo it was at the 15 yard line Ohio picked it up first and 10 to the 14 and they'll hand it off to Bow through a big hole steps through a tackle and into the house for six off the 12 Zordich out of the shotgun waits now he fires left side it's caught shot of the first down turning upfield as Newts doesn't get there pull down far sideline lost the ball Ohio's on the ball at the 15 Sack 18 for the Bulls in just the fourth, given up by Ohio this year. Tendleton has time, lost it to the end zone, near side, caught, touchdown, Cats, Ohio on top. On third and goal, and it's a handoff, it is Boykin, yep. runs into the end zone, touchdown, Cats, Ohio back on top. And they snap it back low, it's pulled in, the kicks away, has a lot of leg, and Matt Weller got it. Ball at the 49 and a half. Pitch over to the right side. Ryan Boykin sprints through a hole. Eases back inside. Got a first down and more. 30 off to the races. 20. 15, 10, 5, 6 for the Cats. Ryan Boykin with a big old run. Game rather than winning or losing games, but how you do it. And that speaks to the progress this team has made in the last eight years under Frank Solar. Paint this one green and white. Ohio did enough to win the ball game, and Ohio has done enough for the first six weeks to remain perfect. So, bowl eligibility after six weeks. How about that? And technically, by winning in a noon game, the first team in America to 6-0 in bowl eligibility. Number one in something, your Ohio Bobcats. How about that? I didn't know that until you just mentioned that. That's pretty cool. All right, now it's time for Akron. And clearly, Terry Bowden's doing good things in the Rubber City because... They're playing pretty well. They've played some exciting games. They've scored a bunch of points. It'll be interesting to see what he's put in. But the Terry Bowden train, if you go back to his lineage, the other guys in his family, other programs he's had, it's going to be spread the ball. It's going to be fly down the field, up and down, passing, quick, quick, quick. They want play counts, just like a healthy Ohio offense wants play count. Are you going to the parade for homecoming? I will be here bright and early. All right. Should be a lot of fun. Enjoy all of it. Ohio wins it 38-31 to over the Buffalo Bulls. Thanks to Chris Sabo for his good work. Now for Rob Cornelius. I'm Russ Eisenstein. Good night from Peden Stadium. This is Bobcat TV.